Arab designers are in the spotlight for the inaugural Arab Fashion Week 2015 held at the Park Hyatt Hotel in Dubai. So Sansa dressed up for the glamorous night. We are at the Arab Fashion Week and the atmosphere is amazing. The guests just reach and let us see how it goes. Assalamu alaikum Jacob, welcome in Physique TV. We would like to ask you uh, what is this event all about? Assalamu alaikum and thanks for being with us today at the opening of the Arab Fashion Week. So as its title say, this is the Arab Fashion Week. It means um, the first official fashion week in the region that is on the calendar of New York, London, Milan and Paris. Um, if you look at the calendar and the history of the first fashion week that happened in New York is almost a century ago. This means that today, after 100 and almost one years, we were able to put um, the Arab word as Dubai its hub UAE on the international map of fashion. So I, first of all, I would like to say congratulations for all the Arab world and for the regions and for the, all the creative uh, minds in the, in the 22 Arabic countries for having this platform. And it starts by today, but we still have a huge future in order to, um, to position and to show what we can do and what the Arabs can really achieve. Um, so my highlights for the event today is um, we have with us the opening is an Italian brand. She's a very creative person who is Italian but of Arabic Egyptian origin. So we are very proud in order to um, achieve our aim by bringing back the, the creative minds. Instead of being positioned abroad, then they, they should come back to the Arab world and she's opening today our fashion show. And what makes this uh, uh, fashion show special than other fashion shows in the region? So what makes, um, I believe, this is special, of course I appreciate all the events that's happening here because it's not easy to create a, a platform. Um, but the aim of the Arab Fashion Week we should look at who is behind, which is the Arab Fashion Council, a non-profit association, the largest non-profit fashion council in the world, that is here to develop and to create, establish a fashion system. So we are not here to create a just one-time event to show a collection, but to create awareness, to raise the, the culture of fashion in the, in the region and to attract the international eyes and buyers and um, designers to be based in the region. So it's a complete system and we call it the pipeline. It means to connect all the 22 Arabic countries and to show strength by joining, by joining once the, our hands together. And from where you get the, uh, the inspiration of your art? We had a plan to uh, do like uh, uh, beach dresses for, from beginning and then we decided uh, to doing something from our art. So we are both painters so many years. So this is something new is bringing it up. So uh, to bring the stones to the picture. Yes. Today we have Laura Mancini, uh, well done, a great collection. Uh, from where you get your inspiration for this uh, fashion show or this collection? This collection was inspired from Arabic women actually because uh, since I'm honored to be Italian to display my collection in the first edition of Arab Fashion Week, I was inspired from Arab women that I think they are very beautiful, speaking with passion by heart. We saw, I saw uh, Papillon. Uh, 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 and some of the dresses 
and some of the dresses was having certain colors like pink and red and certain colors like um, uh, off-white and black and the last dress was about gold, pride and gold. Tell us about it in details. Because uh, the concept is to start from the day and uh, the same woman can wear all that kind of dresses and color of course are the basic one like black and white and uh, red, pink are my favorite color uh, that I love it so I decide to use it and gold because I believe that 2016 will be the year of reborn to everybody and uh, remember that uh, we have to be sunny, happy uh, and life is beautiful, so the gold dress is what that meaning like. Can you tell us in a quick five tips that a woman, an Arabic woman, can use uh, uh, to, to look glamorous in such events? In such events, for sure, is uh, what I believe in 2016. Gold shoes, a silver clutch, mix it together. So not gold and gold, silver and silver, but shoes the same, uh, the, the two different colors together. Uh, round gown and um, not so longer but uh, the underneath is gonna be the, um, the new trend for 2016. So I'm playing the first tip, the uh, silver and the gold. Okay, yes. <laughs> I'm good, I'm with the tight track. Okay. Thank you very much. What do you say about this event? How do you see the designs, the uh, the fashion designer? It's a, a wonderful event, very very well organized, and uh, very important people come. So uh, very uh, high level uh, event, and uh, all the fashion show are wonderful, and all the piece of art are really good. Also, the, many of the artists are member of the royal family, and I'm really pleased to have the honor to exhibit with the, them. So it's uh, wa all wonderful. Sahlan to everybody. I'm Rafaela Carnevale. I'm the chief PR officer of the Arab Fashion Council. Our council is so proud to represent 22 Arab countries and our objective is to discover and to launch international the best Arab talents in the world. I hope you enjoy this special night in the Arab Fashion Week. So Sansad, back to the studio.